look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show if you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to discuss with you in this reaction video is how men are complaining that their wives are withholding physical intimacy from them. And these are not just men who are in your regular just boyfriend and girlfriend relationships, but these are married men who have committed their lives to matrimony to a woman that no longer wants to please him in a physical way. And I'm going to talk about how that is so detrimental to the relationship, to the matrimony. And I will also be providing statistical data to back up everything that I tell you. Because you know, every time I tell you something, I can prove it. Now, hold on for a second as I put on your screen with the first clip. All righty now. Uh, let's get it. We're not having sex. That's what's wrong. Be but do you me. know why I'm tired? Uh, uh, because I come home from work, uh, and then I got to that. cook, Same and I got to clean. Thing. I got to see about the thing. kids. Can you, can you I come don't up get with no help. Can you come up with something new? Listen. Excuses, excuses, excuses. All right? You have enough time to go to work and to please your male boss or your female boss, but you have no time out of 24 hours in the day to please the man that you said, I do too. You don't have no time throughout the day to please your man who you had children with. Okay. Some of these women, in my most humble opinion, are just lazy. So this is what happens when you get too comfortable with somebody else that you've been with for a long period of time. And I'm going to keep going. Let me keep this going before I get deeper into this. Listen, I want to talk about something. Look, I'll first admit that I've been a little grumpy. I've been a little frustrated and I hadn't been in the best of moods lately. But honestly, I think it's because we're not having enough sex. And hear me out. Um, I know that you are also kind of busy and I want to know what can I do to help you out? What can what can what you see right here is an example of a man who is trying to effectively communicate with his woman. Why did I say that? Because women always say that men do not know how or want to communicate. And like I've always said, men communicate all the time quite well. It's the women who have selective hearing. They hear what they want to hear or they, or they are extremely dismissive of what you're saying. If it does not benefit them, if she doesn't want to do something and you explain to her how it makes you feel and she just is so dismissive of it, then she can't hear nothing you say. She'll say that you complaining. She'll say that you're griping. She'll say all kinds of things like that because she doesn't have any empathy towards your situation. She doesn't care. OK, so this is a great example of a man attempting to communicate how he's feeling about not receiving physical intimacy in his marriage. When you said, I do, that means that you would please your man. And a lot of you women like to withhold your bodies from your husband <clears throat> to manipulate him, to control him, to pay him back, to be spiteful for revenge. That is not love. And when you're together and you're married, now, physical intimacy is not love. I don't know why people say it's making love. Dogs and cats can do the same thing. It's the emotional bonding that comes forth from that physical intimacy that would be considered to be the love that you're talking about because you can sleep with anybody and don't have any feelings for them and unfortunately let me say this before i move on when you're married you're not going to be as pleased physically like you used to be when you're single you know why because you're going to see that woman Every day, she gets comfortable. She don't dress sexy. She don't look good. The things that she was doing to keep you and to get your attention, she stopped doing it. Y'all just comfortable and stuff like that. So you get less and less physical intimacy from that woman. You will have more physical intimacy when you're single because each woman you deal with who is not your woman, who is trying to be your woman, will keep themselves up. Keep their hair looking good, perfume smelling good, try to look sexy in front of you, say the things that you like and do the things that pleases you in the bed and be wanting to do those things. And I'm not encouraging you to be a whoremonger or, or a skirt chaser. But what I'm saying is if you decide to be that, you will have more women that will please you 
than the one you said I do to nowadays. And I'm going to show that with statistical data in a minute. Let's keep going. So what can I do to help you out? What can what can I do to get you motivated to have sex? Because right now, I feel rejected. I feel frustrated. I don't feel like we're in this together. Nah, you see that? That was a man who was not jumping on her, but really genuinely trying to understand what the problem is, right? Now, let me put some of this statistical data about this on here. I want you to see this for a second, Jack. Hold on one second. I'm trying to find it for you. But yeah, you have no right to withhold your body. Now, if there's a health condition or something like that, because there's going to be some knucklehead say this and that and this. Use your common sense, man. See, when you have common sense, everything don't need to be explained because common sense will fill in the blanks for you. All right, now, here I want y'all to see this. Y'all check this out. All right. According to todateforlove.com, it says that after four years of marriage, only 48% of married women want regular sex. Sexless marriage. Statistics report that 12% of midlife women and 7% of women 65 and older report low libido. Now, I want you to notice something right quick. It says 48% of now, it's not just talking about those women who's 65. It's from the midlife, I mean middle age, and young women. 48% of those women don't want to sleep with their men no more. That's almost half of all these men, wives who are not giving them any type of affection in that way. After four years, you would think it take 20, 30, 50 years when they get older. Now, four years in today's modern society, women don't want to sleep with their men. That's crazy. One more. Now, according to Psychology Today, heterosexual marriages are experiencing high rates of sexlessness. 25 to 50% for Generation Z. I repeat, Generation Z. Sexual intimacy appears to be on the decline. And that was back in October 7, 2022. No telling what it is now. At 2024. 25 to 50%. So, there's a lot of men walking around right now with dry Peter because their wife don't want to give them any. Now, how that make you feel as a man? What did that say to you? Now, I'm going to put another clip up here right quick. Give me a second. I'll pull it up there. But women don't. And I'm going to tell you something. Else. For you supposed to be, you supposed to be Christian women because y'all the main ones who do this a lot of time, in my humble opinion. Even the scripture said that you're not your body doesn't belong to you when you get when you get married. You're supposed to give it to him. And likewise, back <laughs> between you and him. That's crazy, man. In a way. Let me continue. Ladies, listen. He has gotten off the shelf. He has gotten off the market. He has gotten, and he said his life is completely devoted to you. He is faithful to you. His attention is for you. He is not trying to compare you to other women. He is saying, I am giving myself to you. And you deny him sex, you mm. are in violation. Yep. You're in violation of the word of God, and you're in violation of your husband. You are supposed to give because your body doesn't belong to you. And oftentimes I've seen that, that brothers fall because a, a lack of uh, sexual pleasure. Now, when he says brother fall, of course, that means that he, they, the men, the husband cheated. I don't know why I'm stumbling today. I don't know why, but with my words, but you get it. But um, that's in the scriptures, too. And I'm not trying to make this a religious show today. I usually do it on Sunday when I do my live stream. But it says, like, your body doesn't belong to you and you got to give it to him. I'm paraphrasing because of a lack of restraint. When a man is running around, he horny, he wanted, and he comes to you. You are being neglectful to your man when you don't want to suck him up, bend over, and toot it up for him. You're being neglectful when you don't want to let him skid all over you. Why are you mad that he wants to do these things to you or reluctant to do those things for him when he decided to dedicate his life to you in matrimony? You are supposed to be every hoe that he had in the past and every hoe that he was going to encounter in the future, that he was going to encounter in the future had he not married you, okay? Or every lady, whatever you want to call it, every muscle back helper. Now, I'm not saying that a man should go out and chase skirt, but you get what I'm trying to say here. You know what I'm saying? So now, with all these women dressing half naked, especially in the summertime, nearly naked, and your man running around not satisfied, and you wonder why he cheats on you, I want you to take a long look in the mirror and ask yourself, have you been pleasing your husband? Hmm? Have you been 
Some men are dogs that do it anyway, but majority of the time there's women who are just as evil as they are. I'm asking you, have you been pleasing your husband? Now, you know the answer to that question. Now, after this video, I want you to go in there, cook him a steak, pour him a little glass of red wine, or get him some scotch like I do. I want you to get him some baby potatoes. Some baby potatoes with goat that um steak. Okay, I want you to massage his back and his neck. Then I want you to get in front of him, get on your knees and suck his pipe. Do stuff that you need to do to make the man happy. You act like the first time you did that. All right? Let's keep going and be out of here. Lack of uh, sexual pleasure at home. Mm. Yeah, boy, I keep it real on the show. Mm -hmm. This is for educational purposes. You dig it? Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, y'all tell what y'all think about this um, topic. And I'll be talking to y'all pretty soon. You take it easy now, you hear? Ooh, ooh, ooh.